<laughs> you know, ain't it old? Uh, the thrill is gone now. The thrill is gone away from here. The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone away from me. You done me wrong. I'm going to be sorry someday. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, y'all, I don't know about the well, well, well let me start with this good morning good afternoon good evening my illustrious family welcome 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 to the mental house with me your host your minister of soul khadija okay i love this channel i love because i get to get my mentals off it's his form of therapy. It also makes me ask myself, why haven't I used myself, drank myself into oblivion? How could I be straight in a world full of dope? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but with that being said, <laughs> This um this story um is so sad to me and it's like this is so tired and it lets you further know that um that you know huh, how can I say this without alienating a bunch of y'all? I just really can't worry about it. Um some people just are not original in their whole framing and their whole thought processes. They're not the original man. that So they can't do nothing but wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. They can't get creative. They can't uh, change the scope. And then there's some who see the way because they have a soul, right? So what we watch it happen to Katanji Brown is just so crazy because it's like the racist questions are so stupid. And it's like she's smarter than anybody that's up there. <laughs> Yet you got these dumb senators that are stupid questioning her when they couldn't hold her jock strap, first of all. And the questions that they are asking her are complete dog whistle questions. They're complete ignorant. And even a, one of them asked that the lady asked her, uh, do, what is a woman? Or can you tell me what a woman is? And, you know, just, you know, things that is just so sick. Because when you had Kavanaugh up there who was a rapist and who was allegedly a rapist, shall I say, um, y'all didn't have no sex questions for him. Not like, it, you know what, it was a dog show and a pony show. But I keep trying to tell y'all, and I want you to hear me good when I say this, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party is this different wings on the same bird. None of them have our best interests in mind. So when you got these people out here, AS, you know, okay, people that are telling you to vote Republican and why they love Donald Trump. And it, listen, if anybody is stupid enough to engage in this kind of conversation. Oh, uh, okay. I'm back. When you think about how the Republican Party treated Katanji, no matter what you think about her or whatever, she's earned the right. She's a very brilliant black woman, um, and her record is impeccable. Okay, like I said, she's smarter than anybody up there. Now, the that in Congress, that on the Republican side, that questioned her at least, but even more so, that was to me even more insulting. What did the Democrats say about it? Did they defend her? Did they defend the line of questioning that was being thrown at her? 
What'd they do? They did nothing. So that right there should show y'all. Don't listen to these people telling you to vote Republican or vote Democrat. Uh-uh. It's not going to work. It's not either or. They're both different wings on the same bird. Now, either we're going to have to have our own party, which is black people in it, and brown people, and that's it. That's it. That's just my humble opinion. Or an independent party that black people take their votes to, that they trust. Because at this point, I think collectively we need our own party. That's my opinion. And I believe if they want the black vote, they got to come for it. Otherwise, and I'm telling you, all these institutions and these, these walls of division will fall down if they didn't have the black vote. Because we're the only ones that believe in democracy. And poor people, basically, majority of them, I would say. So, but we can't worry about what the dominant society is doing. I'm saying the Democratic Party and the Republican Party is the same thing. Don't believe Al Sharpton. Don't believe Angela Stanton. Okay? They're the same thing. And if you vote for somebody that's openly your enemy, then you're a fool. So the Republicans is already telling y'all where they stand. This is not the party of... uh. Uh, uh, of Ronald Reagan. I lived through the party of Ronald Reagan and Richard Nixon. Uh, a lot of y'all not old enough to remember that. Okay? But I remember when uh, Richard Nixon um, uh, uh, did what he did with his uh, 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 stopping all I would say um, putting a clamp on all the organizations that had dissent with America. Uh, that was on that J. Edgar Hoover train, okay, where they did that, and that's enough. So, but but my point is this: you're not going to find solace, and you're not going to find restitution, you're not going to find anything in the Democratic Party, in my opinion, or the Republican Party. The Democrats, you, the fact that they didn't come out and defend this woman right now is just showing you where they at. Just like all the other promises they done kept uh, or they done made and don't keep. So you want to keep being moved, made a fool out of, which most, <laughs> a lot do. Or you just going to say, uh-uh, uh-uh. Because they said the definition of insanity is to re keep repeating the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Don't believe these people that's telling you this crazy stuff. But you got to join one of these parties. No, 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 no. Neither one of them care about your black ass. Because the country was built on white supremacy. Okay? And unless they're going to go and knock that down. And it's hard to change people's minds and hearts. Okay? We know it's a construct. We know little by little we woke up just like in the last 10 years. They take away more rights, more rights, more rights, more rights, more rights. So yesterday you could file a complaint against your white neighbor. Then you woke up one day and you couldn't. And that's what they're doing. Steady chipping, steady doing these laws. These people are psychotic. They gaslight. They project. That's all that is. There's nothing original about these people. Everything they got, they stole. Okay, the elite, they're everything, the foundation, they set everything up comes from Africa. So can you really actually trust these liars and demagogues and thieves and bandits? Uh, I think not. I think either we're going to create our own party or we need to leave this politics shit alone and just do what we got to do for ourselves. You know, because in each city run their own uh, be, uh, uh, black town. Because the way we're going right now, and you can't trust other black people. Who, who is so many sellouts in our community? Is so many Benedict Arnolds? Who are you gonna trust? Who are you listen? It was a black man that turned John Brown in with all his sons. Every revolution, every uh, fight back that's ever been thwarted has been thwarted by a black person telling the white people what was up. So 
Either we're going to start our own party and we're going to leave them other black trolls out there to just troll themselves because the majority of black people will be the educated about how important they vote is and they realize, and they realize they're not going to just give it up. we rather just keep it until we can create and educate ourselves enough and um, uh, 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 open the, the, the floodgates to us being an independent party. That's the only thing. Because just looking at the way the Democratic Party allowed them to treat Katanji should make all y'all run away from them. And it should make you all run away from the Republic clans. The Republican clan, they are a clan party. Now, most of the people that's, that's black and call they say, I'm a black conservative. I think they saying something smart. I know real black conservatives and they wouldn't dare be in no damn party like this because somebody freed your black ass from jail. Let me stop. I'm done. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Please share to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.